to any that would um, uh, you know strengthen our policies in terms of criminal we justice system. That, yeah. yeah, but a law and yeah, I can that can that that logic can also be applied into my own understanding. A law can be weak, but it is the law. Um, so that premise, Mr. Chair, is exactly uh, has to be observed in order to avoid people taking their justice into their own, own hands, no? Uh, Mr. Chair, would you agree with me on that, Mr. President? Correct, sir. So that to put a stop to it, there must be progressive laws from the, every now and then. Mm -hmm. So it is duty of Congress to listen to the police and the law enforcement agencies involved so that malaman nila what corrective measures that they can legislate so that these things will not happen or will not be perpetuated. Okay, Mr. Chair, um, those killings had, uh, the hap that had happened in the previous years, no? um, policemen uh, who are ordinary citizens who have killed no? um, their, you know, certain criminals because the way you characterize it mr chair mr president is that rapists kidnappers i believe in 100 percent that nobody in this room would ever support those kinds of individuals the way you characterize them now those uh let's say policemen kasi the topic really is uh yung pag order nyo po no sa mga ang sinabi nyo, you admitted na by policy you feel that you are uh, responsible, but on the specific cases, sabi nyo, um, you are not bound legally to respond to those criminal cases individually, but the policy direction, you claim to be responsible and you take full responsibility on that. Now, uh, those policemen who have, uh, let's say, palagay po natin, who has um, implemented po, no? Uh, yung pagpatay po ng mga criminals in the streets. Uh, would that be also, Mr. Chair, for me, uh, help me understand po, Mr. President, yes, would sir. that also fall under the category of taking the laws into their own hands? Because no, that's sir. precisely why we are avoiding those... Vi uh, I hope you would understand me po, Mr. President, because in I came from a community, and I hope, I, I know fully that you understand this, I came from a community where there's a cycle of violence that people tend to take justice into their own hands. Alam niyo po yan, yung Correct, rido. Sir. And uh, I, for one, would like to strengthen our criminal legal justice system in order to avoid and put a stop to the cycle of violence. Now, those policemen who have killed, um, the word is extrajudicial killing because outside of the bounds of the law, who have killed individuals who are charged with, um, not even charged, but they suspected of uh, in involving themselves in criminalities. Would that be sufficiently or accurately fall under the category of the phrase to take justice into their own hands, which is diametrically opposed to the rule of law and the whole system of our governance, which is based on the democratic principles of separation of uh, the it is ju judiciary, the legislative, and the... It is always unlawful. I'm sorry, Pa? Mali talaga. It's, it's unlawful. Not lawful. Outside of uh, a judicial pronouncement that you are... Pero wala natin death penalty ngayon. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, so what you're saying, Pa, uh, it is unlawful to kill outside of the bounds of the law? Is that what uh, Mr. P the, pr the former president is... Uh, is saying to the committee because my question po is uh, my, my premise my question po uh, mr president mr chairman on the legal uh, maxim that you know the law may be harsh or the law may be weak no unfortunately in the way you describe it in our current legal system it's weak but we have to observe that mm -hmm. no anything that is done crime outside of the I, bounds of outside the law, of the law outside of law is, is illegal it is unlawful. Illegal. Unlawful. So therefore, Mr. Chair, may I deduce from the way uh, the former president responded to my question, po, but so that I can be elucidated, those kills, those those killings were unlawful and illegal. Well, uh, the, 
Depends, sir. There has to be some e condition. Not all killings are legal, and not all killings are illegal. There are killings. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, pardon me, Mr. President. But I'm just to put into context. Those uh, individuals who were killed uh, by the orders of uh, by your orders, po, no, admittedly, kanina, yung sinabi niyo po. Would you categorize that as something illegal or unlawful? Uh, that would be unlawful. Okay. Because kasi sir, kung na, na, nasa custody na ng police, naka-handcuff na, nakatali na, what would be the point? Pati uh, ako police ako, hindi, hindi trabaho ng lalaki yan. Totoo lang. Okay. I, I, I cannot, for the life of me. Pero kung may baril ka, papatulan talaga kita. That has been my, my ano, as mayor, papatulan talaga kita. And it had happened many times. Okay. I participated in the shootout early on when I was about just three months uh, mayor. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may be continued, Mr. Mr. President. So, those who have killed uh, uh, under the AJK, no, sinasabi po, the implementation of the war on drugs, those who are, kasi there are also cases wherein yung namatay po ay hindi nanlaban, no? Um, so, can, do, do you are we saying now, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chairman, that those who have non laban can be cannot necessarily be considered illegal? But those, what about those uh, na hindi ho non laban na bigla lang namatay, can they also be considered as not illegal, then, Mr. Chair? Do, those those uh, police officers, law enforcement agencies, whoever they are, kung pinatay nila and lawfully, not in self-defense, not in the performance of duty, kung civilian ka or police ka, in the performance of duty, which would include the elements of self-defense, uh, eh, talagang illegal yan. Yeah. Okay. But Mr. Chair, no? um, let me continue on, Mr. Chair. No? Um, let me also ask the, the former president, being a prosecutor mm -hmm. himself, um, I think the bulk of the discussion that we're having right now is on the assigning of the term criminals, no? Uh, because ako po, uh, ako po, Mr. President, gumagamit din po ako ng hyperbole. And I'm sure karamihan po sa atin talaga, eh, it's a, just a figures of speech, no? Pag meron po tayong hindi uh, magandang nakita, po pwedeng sabihin natin na you are so and so, no? Uh, pag uh, halimbawa mayroon akong kalaban or mayroon ako pwede kong sabihin na ito si ano eh so and so no so those are just some mere accusations no allegations who do you think or which agency of the government do you think has that mandate and again the the, the mandate and the authority to assign the such and such person person is is criminal and when can that for example i believe it's the court no and when can the court can finally uh categorize you or call a certain individual allegedly of criminal of committing a crime criminal mr chair sir uh you, we have to go para, para hindi tayo mawala yes po you. yes po mr chair uh if i may i'm not trying to alam mo sir we have to start with the uh, the elementary uh, thing. Uh, the law enforcement starts with the police. So he goes out there, enforces the law. If there is a violation, he makes the arrest. If there is an arrest made and there is a resistance, the uh, person in arrest niya and uh, Talagang nakita niya na it is uh, a very serious one. The police, the, the trabaho of the police is not only to say that I am a police that you are under arrest, but the police has to overcome the resistance physically. If there is a resistance, bugbugin na niya o anong para madala niya sa istasyon pagka lumaban and book him for the crime that the guy committed. 
Kasi pag lumaban yan, magsuntukan talaga, minsan nababato ta. And the police is right in making that arrest if there is a resistance. It's, this is not to defend the police. Pero kung sila mismo, naalanganin na sila, o yung may raid, tapos may baril, hindi na kailangan sila magtanong ng ano, walang kaseremonya yan. It's either we say, you surrender raid ito, at pa may maling galaw, the slightest move on the hand, even if it is equivocal kung ano ang dinudukot niya, basta may baril, the police can kill the person. Okay. Oh? Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, uh, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman. Now, uh, that's given, for example, that scenario, no? Uh, would you say, Mr. Chair, that uh, uh, I agree with you, talaga may karapatan yung mga polis mo man, mang defensa, no? Even, even hindi lang polis, no, Mr. Chair? Even yung mga ordinary tao, if you feel threatened, talagang you, you, you have the right to defend uh, yourself. But uh, again, go, going back, Mr. Chair, doon sa issue nung EJK, because this is what I'm trying to understand, Mr. Chair. Excuse me, Sir Kaling, sir? Yes, po. Uh -huh. Sige. Okay. okay. This is what I'm trying to understand, po, Mr. Let's Chair. Let's zero, zero in on that issue, sir. Yes, po. Uh, the, the reason why I'm asking you this, Mr. Chair, is, again, remember, po, Mr. Chair, I, uh, I premise my question on the very basic principle of the rule of law, due process, uh, and etc. So the question is, of course, tayo po, it's easier for us to accuse, no? Um, and, and it's only for the courts to really find out whether that person is really guilty of such committing such crimes or not? Correct. Now, and, and uh, earlier, tinanong ko po kayo, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, kung ano po yung mga lapses ng criminal justice system natin, and you have mentioned several, no? Kaya nga po ang tanong ko, binabalikan ko po, kasi this is the contention of the discussion right now. Is it, is it uh, justifiable, for example, that uh, those who's without the power designate, for example, if a person is guilty or not in certain crime crimes, can also be taken up. Justice can also be taken up by ordinary policemen or any ordinary citizens to kill anybody charged of any criminalities without even allowing them to go to, to courts, no? Because that would be enemical again po to the due process and to the rule of law and diametrically opposed. Uh, to the rule of uh, to the democratic process that we have. Case, that's what uh, I'm trying po, Mr. President to understand because this is all about EJK and unfortunately uh, in the previous administration po, with all due respect there are several also allegations of those who are not uh, been suspected of uh, engaged in illegal drug uh, activities that have also perished during the actual operation of our police. Yun lang po yung gusto kong malaman so that I can also be elucidated on how we go forward in trying to introduce some laws or amend some laws, Mr. Chairman, Mr. President. Hindi na kailangan, sir. Wrongfully killing a person is a crime. Kaya nga, hindi na kailangan na magsabi tayo na itong police na ito, gito if pinatay niya yan, sir, not in the performance of a duty, not making an arrest, and there is no resistance at all, papatayin mo ang tao and arm, nakatali ang paa, pati nakatali ang kamay, that policeman belongs to the penitentiary. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, earlier, Mr. Chair, one of our my colleagues here asked... Congressman Adjong, you have two more minutes. No? Okay, thank so you. I will, I will wrap up. Uh, yeah, wrap up. Yeah, I will wrap up. Uh, Mr. Chair, earlier, um, earlier, uh, Mr. Chair, one of my colleagues here asked, uh, mentioned about uh, in 2013, there was a, uh, a study that came out. Po. It was a study came out placing Davao City as one of the safest cities in the world, no? even surpassing on uh, the city of uh, Ontario and, uh, and Tokyo and some. Uh, that was during your incumbency, Mr. Uh, Chairman, no? Mr. President, no? uh, in 2013. You were still a mayor at that time. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Um, so placing Davao City as one of the safest uh, cities in the world. Do you attribute that, uh, the study, the research that was conducted, do you attribute that to the number of arrests or the dispensation of justice for the operation of the courts or do you attribute that to the EJ case, Mr. Chair, Mr. President? Killing cannot be a solution to all of these things that we have to deal with in life. Yung ako ang mayor, sir, alam nila, when I was a prosecutor, alam na nila, including the police, alam na ng police, takot ang police akin kasi wala akong patawad. Alam na ng taong dabaw na pagka ikaw ay nagkasala, talagang walang pa akong patawad. Hindi ako nag, nagpapabor ng police. Pag nagkamuli, pag nagkamali ang police, ako mismo, at ako mismo ang nagbubogbog sa police. Man, tanong ka ng... Andito man si... Ako mismo ang bumibira ng polis pagka inaano nila yung sibilyana. What for every reason? Layo na maglasing, magbogbog ng asawa. Pag pumunta yan sa city hall, sir, talagang black and blue yan. Sipa, suntok. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, I, I, I take that as yung ganoon ang disiplina sir sa police ko sa hindi ko pinagyayabang kasi ano wala mo may, may baril yang ng police eh. kaya lang alam nila may kasalanan sila kuno mo basta basta gawin niyan sa basta na lang pero ganoon ang practice ko pinubugbog ko talaga Mr. Chair, I have here po the, ano po, no? ito pong ranking ninyo, pang 12 po ang Davao the safest. Uh, let me go back to the question po, um, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ang gusto ko lang pong malaman is, of course, there are criteria, again, for... Yes, sir. There are criteria for, for Davao City to, be, to land 12 spot no? among the safest. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I wasn't really asking about how the former president and the former mayor dealt with the airing cops in the city. I was just asking uh, about the study that was conducted. I'm sure hindi po, you're, you're very proud of, you know, lahat naman to magiging proud po kasi safe city. I just like to ask po uh, the former president, uh, would he, he attribute this um, this accomplishment to the killings of um, criminals, alleged criminals in the streets, no? Itong EJK, would you con or would he con would he attribute that to the number of arrests or the fast dispensation of justice in the operation of the courts in Davao City? Walang criminal kasi, sir, kasi nag-warning ago. Pag sinabi ko, when I became mayor, I'll give you 48 hours to pack up and disappear. Yan ang warning ko. Ngayon, after 48 hours, pag nakita kita, ano po? Tab ano, ano po mangyayari after 48 hours pag nakita niyo po sila? Uh, yun ang hindi ko masagot, sir, sa iyo. Kasi, Gusto mo akong makulong, sir? <laughs> Hindi ho. Tinatanong ko lang ho kasi this is how you run. Uh, and akala I... ko kaibigan tayo. <laughs> and I, I, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. President, I, 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 I know that you've taken your job as mayor seriously. That's why I'm asking how did you able to manage to keep, you know, crimes at a very low level po in, 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 in those times. Kasi I, I also link this with the case of extrajudicial killings, which you, you admittedly po kanina po na sinasabi, ordering the Nangyari police. Yan, I just want to put in everything into context so that I can understand. Now, Mr. Chair, for my final question, I believe I'm wrap up. For my final questions, uh, earlier, Mr. President, Mr. Chair, you also mentioned, you were asked also, um, bakit um, you resorted to uh, ordering the police Pag nanglaban, patayin, pag ano, kasi ang, atops, ang response niyo po, uh, I think it was Congresswoman Franz Castro who asked that question. And um, 
you responded to her na kasi medyo ma masikip na sa kulungan. Uh, kaya para mas maluwag-luwag, uh, patay na lang yung iba. <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, that's what I, I, I heard, Mr. President. Um, so that, I, I took that as the, the response of the President uh, because that's I what the response from, from the President. Now, I'm just curious po, Mr. President, uh, for six years po you were President, no? 17th and 18th con uh, 16th and I guess in 17th Congress you were the president at that time and there were several bills that were proposed by this Congress to reinstate the um, ano yun? yung capital punishment yung, yung death penalty uh, first for heinous crimes and other illegal uh, for, for illegal drug uh, related crimes no and I believe uh, the lead chairman of this committee, Congressman Ace Barbers, was one of the authors of those bills. Uh, I'm, just one, I'm just curious, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. President, why didn't you put the weight of Malacanang to support that bill? Why, didn't, why haven't you certified that as an urgent bill? Wala pa ako sa Malacanang, sir. Ano po? Wala pa ako sa Malacanang. It was proposed po during your competency as president. That would have been a perfect... Uh, that would have been a perfect opportunity for your administration to really fight criminalities, especially those who have been convicted of yes, illegal uh, dry crimes. So I'm just wondering, po, Mr. Chair, uh, that was the opportunity. Uh, has there been any talks in Malacanang that such pro seven bills that were introduced during the six, uh, seven, 16th or 17th, 17th Congress uh, under your incumbency? In fact, I mentioned earlier, Former President Gloria Macapagaloyer was here. I, I, I vividly recall when the voting was ongoing, President Gloria Macapagaloyer vote not to pass the, reinsta the reinstituting of death the criminal penalty. offense of death penalty. Uh, so I'm just wondering, po, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. President, that was televised po all, uh, all over the country. Uh, why didn't you put your weight, uh, the, the, the Malacanang's weight, and maybe to Are certify this as an urgent bill? asking my honest opinion? Yes, Mr. Chair, Mr. President. You restore the death penalty. I'm sorry, Mas po. Mabuti po, ibalik ninyo ang death penalty. Yeah, uh, yes, I agree with you po, Mr. Chair. In fact, um, uh, in, in my own Sharia law, although it's not recognized, by the Philippine judiciary, there's no criminal component on the PD 1083. But I do support, you know, death penalty personally as a policy. Death penalty for certain crimes, heinous crimes, rape, etc. I'm just yes, I'm just heinous crimes, and I'm just curious, Paul, Mr. Chair, and I want to understand from the perspective of the president uh, when he served as president for six years and two congresses passed during his term tenure as president, there were several bills introduced by the, by the House of Representatives, uh, one of which the authors is actually here, sitting there as a lead uh, chairman. Why hasn't the president put the weight of Malacanang to push this further and make it as a law? Yes, sir. Eh, ang problema ang Congress, hindi mo kontrolado eh. You know, in a Congress, it's a conglomeration of human... Some are libertarians, some are hardliners, some are mild-mannered. But uh, on the average, sir, hindi mainit ang ulo. Hindi, well, exception. Naging congressman ma rin ako. Uh, pero iba ang ano ko, sir, because I've uh, been trained uh, as a prosecutor kasi for a long time. And besides, I was also teaching to augment my income kasi wala naman akong masyadong pera nung mag-asawa ako was teaching criminal law and criminal evidence so malapit talaga ako dyan sa crime, crime, crime but stricto ako dahil nga nagtuturo ako alam ng polis yan pati yung polis na yan wala yan silang patawad Okay, Mr. Chair, um, um, just a, I'd like to end my time, Mr. Chair, with the manifestation, if I may be allowed, Mr. Chair. Very quickly. Thank you. Very quickly, Mr. Chair. I was listening to the responses of the former president, and uh, there are some allegations that were made today, uh, which I believe the former president challenged anybody, any group, uh, to 
you know, to bring that to the courts. And that, uh, that challenge, Mr. Chair, I, I take it as a form of, uh, you know, the president's believing in the rule of law. I'm just uh, believing in the rule of law uh, and the, uh, the operation of our courts. When there so, is two issues, sir, and we cannot understand each other, you go, we go to court. Yeah, the, I, I, yeah I, and, and I, I commend you uh, on that, no, for saying that. Um, I hope, Mr. Chair, that the same, the same should have been also accorded and should have been also been extended to those who died in the streets. Uh, I believe the former president, by just, you know, encouraging anybody, any individual to go to court and file these cases, because I believe that's the proper venue for that. Sir, there are independent investigations, uh, investigative bodies. It is not only the police. You can rely on the NBI, the Human Rights uh, Commission, and others. You can tap anybody there to help in the enforcement of the law against uh, itong sabi mong uh, uh, illegal uh, killings of uh, criminals or what they would call in the ating parlance ngayon as salvaging. Yeah, thank you. Congressman Young, yes. Again, let me, let me just put an end to my statement, uh, Mr. Chair, if I may be allowed. Um, again, um, that 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 encouragement from the former president to bring these cases to the courts. Um, it's actually a manifestation that all of us here, even, he, even the former president, believes in the rule of law. And I would just, I hope, Mr. Chair, that out of the 33,000 or 2,000 or thousands who have died, they, sana na bigyan din hu sila ng ganong they were also being uh, have accorded with the same with the same privilege of under the law of innocence until proven guilty it's only the court that can assign anybody uh, whether that person is uh, is criminal because there are corresponding crimes and with the corresponding punishment according to our law so mr chair um i, I will end that with that manifestation because um i do not want mr chair uh, to be honest with you, to be honest to any, everybody here, I do not want the cycle of violence, no matter the intention, because I've lived that, I've seen that, and I know it will bring no good to everyone. I don't want EJK, I don't want the cycle of violence to happen. Mr. Chair, thank you very much. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Congressman.